In this video, I open up a box from CGC that's marked Fragile. Must be Italian. What's going on guys? Justin here, aka No Good Comics, and welcome back to the channel. I'm really, really excited for this video because I got, as you saw in the beginning, my very first CGC unboxing uh, is going to happen right now. We just got it in the mail. I've actually been waiting for this since May, I think. I sent these in along with um, my X-Men 129, which is up behind me. I had to send that in uh, on a specific time because I was getting that signed by um, Chris Claremont. These two books are Blue Label, or fingers crossed are at least Blue Label. And um, so they took a little longer. I also want to give a big shout out to Rocket Comics um, that I've uh, reached out to over on Instagram because they did the uh, pressing and the cleaning. So huge shout out to them. Check them out if you're looking for um, any of those services uh, down below. And also just a huge shout out to Melissa uh, uh, that works there. She's been uh, tremendous in terms of the communication and just kind of keeping me posted on where my books have been and, and what's going on with the whole process. I know it's, it was a longer period of time uh, with the pandemic and, and everything like that going on. So, um, But I really appreciate their services over there. So um, everybody over at Rocket Comics, thank you guys so much. Uh, before we get into the actual box, um, please, as always, take a moment, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, always appreciate you guys swinging by, hanging out for a bit uh, while we do these things. So, uh, with that being said, I, a little little uh, background to this. There are two books in here. Um, one of them, because uh, I want to go over like the pricing and stuff too, or at least like how much I paid for. Uh, you know, just get an idea of, you know, did I make my money back? Did I lose money or, or maybe potentially even made some money? So um, the first book here is, um, or I, let's just dive in and, and we'll pull them out. So the first book that I'm going to start with is this video right here, uh, Avengers 83. Um, and I had my girlfriend cover this up so that we could kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to uh, uh, see, see the grade too soon. I'm seeing it for the first time with you guys, so uh, I've seen other people doing this, and I just love the idea of it. Um, I don't do enough CGC submissions to do something like this, so um, this is kind of a first. But give you a little background on this. I got this at a local, um, like a, a vendor Comic-Con, you know, like a, a small vendor uh, con that was going on here. This was uh, probably, I mean, it must have been February or maybe the end of January that I got this. And I think I, I paid about 65 bucks. Um when I was there and I remember, um, and for those of you who don't know, this is uh, first Valkyrie, although it's technically not because it's, um, well, let me see how it lists here. So it says first appearance of the uh, Liberators, Black Widow, Medusa, and Enchantress appearance. Oh, okay, so they actually listed it. It's the first appearance of the Liberators is the official. Um, I know that there were um, other descriptions of it being the first appearance of Enchantress, um, but it uh, or sorry, a Valkyrie, but it turns out that it's actually Enchantress. Spoilers. Um, but anyways, um, so I got this for about, yeah, 65 bucks and uh, it was in decent shape. I, I don't know. I was thinking that ultimately I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this book or not um, as time went on. And so I thought, well, let me go get it graded. I'll get it cleaned and pressed. There were definitely some um, some opportunities where I felt that you know, getting it clean and pressed was, was certainly going to help it um, grade wise. Um, so I was just curious what I could get this bumped up to. Um, but when I was guessing initially, I was in the, the, the 5.0 range, 5.5 maybe. So I guess I'd be happy with anything of that. Obviously anything higher, uh, I'll be really happy with. Anything lower, uh, you know, I probably lost money or I definitely lost money. Um, but let's open uh, or let's remove the, uh, the sticker here. So take it out of the bag first. Um, so yeah, like I said, it was a, it was a five, uh, hoping for a five or 5.5. Um, and shout out to my girlfriend for uh, setting this up for me. Thank you. Uh, so let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. All right. Good stuff. Whoa. There's a lot of, uh, sticky notes on here. Oh man. Off white to white 7.0. And that is a beauty. Sorry for the glare. 7.0. Very nice. Wow, definitely made out on that one. Very, very happy. Um, and it looks, it just, it's a, it came out great. I mean, the pressing and everything, it came out really great. So uh, very happy about that. And uh, yeah, remove these. 
Um, so yeah, there you have it. Oh, well, here's the back. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Off white to white, 7.0. Can't go wrong. Avengers 83. And actually, before I get to the next book, I did want to point out um, some of the, the pricing. And I brought it up here. So um, essentially, a 7.0 last was sold for uh, $127 on June 8th. My birthday. Look at that. June 8th of 2020. So that was last time. $127 uh, for a 7.0. So kind of made a couple dollars. Not too major. Like I said, I spent about 65 So... I mean, with all the pressing, cleaning, sending all, all that in, the shipping, uh, we'll call it 50 bucks or maybe a little more than that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think overall, uh, you know, made out pretty well. Um, so, anyways, let's jump into the next box and we'll kind of look through and review the numbers as well. Okay, so the next book um, I'm really excited for, especially because the TV series that's going to be coming out soon. Um, this is Captain America, issue 117 first appearance of the falcon and uh i got this book from my my lcs zap comics and again this was i bought this um oh i actually bought this in march i want to say or actually april it must have been april because it was like a, it was like a month or two into the whole pandemic thing i remember they they were sharing things on instagram more uh or at least more than what they're doing now in terms of uh books for sale uh when they had when, when they were forced to be closed for a while um, and so they had this up. So I paid uh, about $250 for this book raw. Um, and when I looked at it, I thought it was um, really clean condition. The, the spine looked great. Um, the, the colors were bright. I mean, there was no, I had no problems with this. Um, and I was really hoping, I mean, I, I'm not, a, I should say this too. I'm not a professional grader in any way. Um, this was just kind of a gut feeling, kind of me trying to get better at grading, trying to get a better understanding of you know, what makes what a grade, um, you know, and I'm still learning. So to me, this was something that either way, I wanted this book. Um, I wanted to get it. I mean, the news was already out about the show coming out and obviously he was already in the movies and things like that. Um, but uh, for the price and for the condition, I thought it was a really good deal. Um, so shout out to Zap Comics. Um, I want to look at the numbers real quick. So let's see if, um, let's just say, I mean, I was thinking it's got to be at least, I mean, it's got to be at least a six, at least a six, um, and which is fine, right? Literally, it's fine. Uh, so that goes for about 280. I'm looking at most recent prices. Actually, November of last year re uh, sold uh, for 309 on eBay. Uh, but for the general fair market value, about 280. Um, so, and like I said, I paid about 250. So that's for a 6.0. So I would be, uh, happy with a 6.0, 6.5. Uh, obviously, would be loving if we could get something like up in the eights or the nines because this book, uh, an 8.0 goes for 650, a 9.0 goes for 1100. Again, these are fair market value based on uh, uh, Go Collect. Um, and then, you know, it just gets crazy after that. You know, 9.2 is a 13, uh, 1350, 9.4 is a uh, 2500. So, yeah, and then a 9.6. Anyways, so uh, obviously that would be the dream. But um, so really nice, like I said before, I think it's, it's, it's in really nice condition. Um, I'll do some close-ups too, um, before I wrap things up, but let's just do the reveal real quick because I'm really excited for this. So, uh, again, shout out to my girlfriend for setting this up. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see something good. Oh, all right. A seven Oh seven Oh that's a winner. That is a winner. I will take that. Uh, 7.0 off white to white pages. Very nice. Very nice. And what we were just saying, so 7.0 goes for, last one went for 3.40 on, uh, or at least on eBay, listed from GoCollect. So, um, and that was what? Uh, that was in December. Um, so not too bad. And obviously the, the TV show's coming out, really excited to see um, where that goes. And Falcon's just a really cool character to begin with. So, uh, and any close, fair, uh, any close friend of Cap's is a close friend of mine, right? So, um, good stuff there. Again, um, it looks really nice. Um, let's take the rest of this off. Um, here's the back, right? Um, sorry for the glare. Uh, but yeah, overall, I am uh, I'm very happy. So, Captain America, 117, got it in a 7.0. And then we also got this bad boy, uh, Avengers 83, also in a 7.0. Um, it's my, my lucky number here, seven, right? Um, so great stuff. 
Uh, guys, thank you so much for, for uh, watching. Uh, shout out again to Rocket Comics if you guys are interested in any of their services. I'll put their information in the link um, below. Um, make sure you hit that like button on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, this has been exciting. I, I hope to do more of these things um, sooner rather than later. I do have a list of books I want to send into CGC at some point. So we'll see how I go about doing that. But uh, anyways, thanks all for watching and I will talk to you later.